Do you have a modded iPod Classic with an iFlash? I'm going to be showing you how you can add Rockbox to your modded iPod Classic using iFlash. So if you have an iFlash, I'm going to be showing you how you can use Rockbox with your iFlash quad or any iFlash device you are using. And I am using this iPod with 512GB which I have installed the iFlash quad with 512GB of storage space on this iPod Classic 7th generation. And I'm also going to be showing you how you can view the music that you have added from iTunes on your iPod Classic using Rockbox. So what you need to do now, you want to connect the USB cable to your iPod like this. Connect it to your iPod. And then once you see that it is connected, what you're going to be seeing right here, you see that it is not connected, so connect it again. Now that you have connected your iPod Classic to your computer, Windows File Manager should pop up on your Windows computer, letting you know that it is connected to your computer. Now you see that Windows File Manager came up, so we want to exit out of File Manager. Then what you want to do is you want to open up your favorite internet browser you are using. And then once you're here, you want to search for Rockbox Utility. And once you search for Rockbox Utility, depending on what operating system your computer is running, you want to install that version of Rockbox Utility. Once you install the Rockbox Utility, you want to unzip it. And then once you unzip it, you want to start the installation process for the software called Rockbox Utility. So now, what you need to do now is once you install Rockbox, you want to open up Rockbox. Then click on yes, then right here what you're going to be seeing is you're going to be in the Rockbox utility right here. And then right here, if you do not see that your iPod is connected with various devices, if your iPod is not connected, you want to click on change. And then right here you can auto detect, but for me, auto detect is not going to be working right here, you see? I'm going to be clicking auto detect, and then it says could not detect mount point select your mounting point manually so what you need to do now is you want to select whatever whatever version of the ipod you are using but for us if you are using an ipod classic 7th generation you're going to be seeing that there's no ipod classic 7th generation right here for the rockbox utility configuration so the one you want to click on you want to click on what says ipod classic 6th generation stable and that's the closest one that you're going to be getting because because the iPod 6th generation is the same as the iPod Classic 7th generation. So the 6th and 7th are the same one. So what you want to do, click on iPod Classic 6th generation. And then click on OK. And then what you need to do now. And then what you need to do now is well, you want to install themes right here. If you want to have themes, you can install themes right here by clicking on, clicking on theme. And then what you want to do is click on customize right here and then I'm going to be selecting a theme that I want. I'm going to be searching for the theme that I want like this one. I'm going to be doing this theme right here, blue steel. And then click on select for your theme. And then what you want to do now is you want to click on install to install your your Rockbox software right here. But before you click install, I recommend that you click right here where it says Rockbox version to install. And I recommend that you keep it a stable release version 3.15. So I recommend you use 15 3.15 for the stable version. Do not use any of these ones to install Rockbox. Click on stable release. And then what you want to do is click on install. And then it's going to be heading over to the setup process to install Rockbox on your iPod Classic. Now, what it's going to be saying, it's going to be saying to to select, to select hold select and menu button at the same time. So click on select button and menu at the same time to, to where the progress bar changes, changes numbers right here. To where the progress bar keeps going. And then hold it for 12 seconds right here. And then it's going to be saying to let go of the select menu, select and menu button at the same time. That says release, select plus menu button and wait. Now, what you need to do is you need to wait for for the progress to be done to install Rockbox onto your iPod Classic. Now, what I do not recommend you do, do not click on where it says format disk. Do not format the disk when installing Rockbox. Click on cancel and then click on OK. And then do not click on format disk right here. Click on cancel. And then you want to exit out of your Windows File Manager. Exit out of it. And then just wait for the progress to be done to install Rockbox on your iPod Classic. 
And then what you're going to be seeing is you're going to be seeing that this pops up with your meaning that you cannot install Rockbox onto your iPod Classic where here it says could not remount the device. Try to do it manually if the iPod did not restart for reset by pressing select plus menu button for 5 seconds. If the problem continues, click click on the board to cancel. So I'm going to be clicking on the board right here to, to cancel it. And then it's going to be saying installation aborted by user right here. Click on OK. Then right here what you need to do is you need to, you need, you, you need to grab your iPod right here. You need to grab your, another iPod that you know has Rockbox installed on it. And I am using this iPod Nano that I installed Rockbox too. So you need to remove... Well, you need to remove the USB cable from your iPod Classic and then connect it to the other iPod you have. And then you're going to be seeing that it is connected right here on my computer because Windows File Manager came up. And now click on continue without scanning. And then what you want to do is exit out of Rockbox. And then right here you're going to be seeing that I have a folder called Rockbox right here. And this Rockbox folder what you want to do is you want to drag and drop it to wherever you want to save it to. So I'm going to be doing desktop right here. And then it's going to be copying the Rockbox folder from this iPod Nano to my desktop computer. Now what you need to do is you can exit out of the file manager. And now what you want to do is just wait for the syncing to be done and then you can release your iPod right here. So eject your iPod like this. And then what you want to do now is you want to grab your iPod Classic right here. Grab the iPod Classic like this and then what you need to do is grab your iPod Classic and then you're going to be seeing that you're not going to be in the menu for your, for your Windows File Manager if it doesn't pop up. So if it doesn't pop up, what you need to do is press on menu and select button right here. Click on menu and select button. And then, the, depending on the iPod, you might want to lock your iPod like this. Lock it, but you see, it does not work right here. So what you want to do is you want to press the menu and select button. And then when it goes black, you want to press on the menu button right here. You see, press on the select and back button. And then what you're going to be seeing is that you're going to be back in the menu for your operating system for your iPod Classic. So you need to press menu and select and then once it goes black click on select and back button to head back to your original software for your iPod Classic. Then right here on Windows is going to be asking you to format the disk. Do not format it. Click on cancel. Then click on OK. And then what you're going to be seeing is you're going to be in the original software for your rock box right here. So what you can do is you need to connect it to your computer like this. Connect it to your computer and then wait for for the Windows Fire Manager to pop up. Now what you want to do is you want to drag and drop the rock box right here. You want to drag the rock box folder into your into the file manager right here for your iPod Classic. In the directory for your iPod Classic, just drag and drop Rockbox into the directory for your iPod and then wait for it to complete the copying so that Rockbox is installed on your iPod Classic. Now, if you wanna install music to your iPod using Rockbox, what you need to do is you need to have a new folder right here. Right click and add a new folder in the directory called music. So add a new folder called music right here. Music. And then what you need to do is you want to find the music you want to add. Which I'm going to be adding these three albums right here by selecting it right here. And then I'm going to be copying the song right here. I'm going to be copying the song right here. And then what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be heading back to the directory for my iPod Classic. And then in the music folder you have created, you want to paste the song or the album that you have added to the directory for the music folder you have copied on your iPod Classic. So the music you have found, you want to copy it to the directory on the music folder. And now what you're going to be seeing is you're going to be seeing that the three albums I have copied are now on my directory for Rockbox on my iPod Classic. Now what you want to do is you want to eject your iPod like this. You want to eject your iPod. So eject it right here. But you see, I cannot eject it. Sometimes it does not let you to eject. So you can just remove the cable right here. And now just wait for it to be done disconnecting like this.
if you want to get into Rockbox, what you need to do is you need to click on menu and select button at the same time and then release it like this. Now you want to release the menu and select button and now you see you're going to be in the option for Rockbox but you want to disconnect it because you're not going to be able to use it so disconnect your iPod. And now what you're going to be seeing, you're going to be in the directory for your iPod your iPod for Rockbox. You're going to be in the directory for Rockbox right here on your iPod Classic. And you see, this is the original iPod Classic just modded with the iFlash 512GB. Now, if you want to view the songs you have added to Rockbox without using iTunes, you want to click on where it says Files, then click on Music, and then you want to select whatever album or song you have added to Rockbox right here. This is the one that I have added. And then, this is what it's going to be looking like when you have added your song to Rockbox using Windows File Explorer on your computer. Now, if you want to view the songs you have added to iTunes onto your iPod Classic, what you need to do is you need to click on where it says Database, then click on where it says Album, or you click on where it says Album, and then you can select whatever song or album you want right here. I'm going to be doing this one. Then, this is what it looks like when I have added the songs from iTunes to my iPod Classic and I can view them on Rockbox from my iPod Classic. So now, if you want to add themes, what you need to do is head over to Menu and then head over to Settings and then what you need to do is click on where it says, click on where it says Theme Settings and then what you need to do is click on Browse Themes and then here is the theme that you have added right here to Rockbox and this is what it looks like when the theme is added to Rockbox now I'm going to be clicking on I'm going to be clicking on now playing and then this is what it looks like when you have added the theme from Rockbox from the Rockbox utility to your Rockbox software this is what it looks like when you have added your Rockbox theme from Rockbox utilities. Now when you have added Rockbox if you want to get back into the original Apple operating system for your iPod Classic what you need to do is you want to get back to the original operating system on your iPod Classic you want to press th the menu and select button and then when the screen goes black you want to lock it like this so press on menu and select and then you want to lock it but for some reason you see that th it does not work so what you want to do I'll show you again right here so I'm going to be pressing menu and select and then what you want to do is lock it when it goes black when the screen goes black lock it and then you see for some reason you should be back into the original Apple operating system but for me it does not work so what you want to do is press on menu and select and then when it goes when the screen goes black you want to press on select and back button and then you're going to be back in the original operating system for your iPod Classic so click on menu and select then what you want to do is when the screen goes black, what you need to do is press on the back button, select and back button, and then you see you are back in the original operating system for your iPod Classic. So please like, comment, and follow me, and subscribe for more videos like these ones on how you can use Rockbox when you have modded your iPod Classic using, using Rockbox on your iPod Classic. So please like, comment, and follow me on how you can use Rockbox when you have modded your iPod Classic using an iFlash Quad or any iFlash modded onto your Apple iPod Classic.